Picture this. You just got home from work, put on your jammies, and are about to snuggle up in your favorite blankie on the couch. Hi, I'm Leah, and we all know that excited feeling and what a simple pleasure it really is. So I'm gonna show you how you can offer this same exact feeling to your customers with custom blankets. Because we all know a favorite blankie is one that brings a smile to your face, not only because it's warm and cozy, but because of its personality. Whether it's personalized with your favorite photos, decorated with text that just resonates, or patterned with something fun, I'm gonna teach you it all. Go into our catalog and under Home and Living, you'll find our selection of blankets, or you can simply find them using the search bar. Click on the blanket you'd like to create and click Start Designing. Check the print file requirements here and refer to the design guidelines at any time by clicking here, but I'll also explain them in a moment. Let's start by adding a design first. You can upload your own design from your computer or cloud storage, create a design using our AI image generator, add text, find images on Shutterstock, or get help on Fiverr. You can also use elements from our free graphics library. Your design should cover the entire template, including the bleed area represented in gray. The bleed area is usually where the seams or the side of a product are, and if left blank, the final product may be left blank as well. You'll notice a dashed line. This is what's considered the safe area and is where any important elements or text should be placed. Otherwise, it may be cut off during printing, as we can see in the preview. Let's delete this text. We can adjust the size of our design by clicking and dragging any corner, and we can rotate it at the edges. We can also flip our design horizontally or vertically in the toolbar. Click and drag to adjust the placement. All of this can be done more precisely in the right-hand menu as well. Here we can also turn our design into a pattern by toggling Create Pattern. Move the sliders to adjust the placement of your pattern or choose Preset Spacing. Right now we have a white background, but we can choose a different color here or enter a hex code. We can also select more size variants here, preview our final creation, and save the product. Personalized products with special photos sell really well, and blankets are a really great product to put photos on as the canvas is so big. But some methods work better than others. For photo blankets, we suggest creating a collage of pictures instead of having one large photo. This will make the blanket much more readable. That is, you'll be able to see the pictures better. If you only have one photo, you can only see it if the blanket is lying completely flat. Realistically, it'll probably be folded up or thrown on the couch or wrapped around your shoulders. And then all you'll see is someone's nose up close or some distorted limbs. Most likely not the look you're going for. With a photo collage, however, you can still see a clear picture from different angles, like when it's folded or tossed on the couch. A similar concept works for text on blankets too. When folded or bundled up, it'll be hard to read. So an abstract text design or pattern might be more suitable. The typography becomes more about the shapes and colors of the text when it's not flat. Let's create a simple example in our mock-up generator. Don't be afraid to make the letters big and squeeze them together, as we don't want too much negative or blank space. You can either center the final design and leave a bit of a border around the blanket or let the edges be slightly cut off. Now, if your niche or text doesn't really fit the abstract style, we can still utilize a full piece of text. Let's try it out. I'm going to add a pattern to my blanket and some small text in the corner. We can put our text a bit smaller here because our texture already tells us burrito pattern, and it'll still be readable without being completely laid out flat. Lastly, let's do an example with a pattern. We can either create one using the pattern tool like we did at the beginning of this video, or upload a pattern we've made like this. If you don't like how cutoff elements look on the edges or it doesn't work with your particular pattern, we recommend going with a more abstract design like this one.
When you're happy, save your product, publish it to your store, and when a customer orders, it'll be sent off to the printer, they'll do their magic, and you'll have a happy customer. These concepts work well with other large products too, like shower curtains, towels, rugs, and so much more. Have you tried creating a blanket yet? Leave a comment with your experience, like this video if you found it helpful, and subscribe to Printify for even more product tutorials.